everybody joanna here again so today i'm gonna make a really quick outfit it's a it's a top and a skirt so i have my shirt ready to trace it's a non-stretch shirt because we're dealing with some nice cotton ankara fabric so we're gonna enjoy this one i got this on sale only three dollars a yard tt so it's like a really good sale so let's get going so i'm gonna start with my skirt first so you will need a zipper this is an a zipper that's not the color but that's all i have so i'm gonna work with this here elastic and some tailor stroke so let me set up and i'll be back i'm back so what i did is this is 45 inches so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna open out the fabric and I'm going to take one side, I'm going to mitre the corner like this. And I'm going to make sure it's straight. Make sure this end is on this end. Okay, I'm going to make sure it's end to end. Right. End to end. Straight. I'm using about 5 yards of 45 inches fabric so I just need to pull this down to my table so you can see what I'm gonna do here so my waist is like 40 non stretch so I need to get 10 when it's folded in half so I'm gonna measure this out to like 11 because I need to put in a zipper so I'm gonna look for where my 11 mark is across the width here and I'm going to put a little mark. So you take your tailor stroke and you put a mark. So now you're taking from the top. The top of your fabric here. Where you fold it here. To this mark here. And you'll get roughly 14. So I'm going to go to 14 and a half. Okay. 14 and a half. And you're gonna you'll keep using where your inch tape is and you'll keep measuring this 14 and a half. Right, so you're gonna cut out there. So the next step now is because this is your actual this is the rest of the fabric is gonna be your actual length. It should be something like 29, right? Okay. So you're going to measure off this 29 all the time. So 29 from this edge, wherever you had put the first chalk mark, you're going to measure another 29. And another 29. Now if you have a 60 inches, it's going to be longer because you'll have more fabric to work with. But this is going to be a nice misses length so it's gonna be fine pull your fabric and make sure you have your 29 right to the edge of your fabric so make sure you have your tailor's chalk so this is gonna be basically a circle skirt now if you wanted more panels in this it's obvious you're gonna calculate less of of your waist of each panel but the same length so you could do like six panels it's gonna be really really nice and full and you're just gonna take your scissors and follow your chalk marks and you don't need to measure this twice if you're gonna do the skirt back and front you just you need to make one and then you mitre your fabric again and then you just rest this and this becomes your pattern so I'm finished with the skirt because I did one earlier on so let's go straight into my shirt so what I did, I have my shirt and I measured out the length of the shirt and because I'm pressed for time, I doubled the length on the fabric so I got, so I'm not opening out my fabric just yet so I'm gonna, it's doubled here so what I'm gonna do is Make sure everything is equal. 
and I'm going to cut this in half. It's going to still be the length of the shirt, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to open this out to this because I want to I want a sleeve. But we're not going to cut any sleeves. We're going to leave the sleeve length. Whatever length we get as the sleeve is going to be the sleeve. So we're going to fold the fabric again. So it's cut in half together and you're gonna put your scissors your, your shirt sorry on your fabric it's gonna be slightly longer for hemming purposes All right and what we're gonna do is we're not gonna cut off anything on the top we're just gonna basically do it a little wider. If you want it slim, I could do it as slim. But I would just want to make sure that my shirt is equal, right? Everything is equal. Okay, and I'm just gonna go straight up to my sleeves. And I'm gonna. Right. So you could you don't have to do it like this. You could do it straight across if you choose to. But I'm gonna do it like this just to get a little flare on the arm. So it's gonna kinda match my skirt and the remainder of my skirt I'm gonna use probably for head tie. But if you want to and you don't want to put in a zipper, I could do another panel and use elastic in the waist instead. But I'm not going to use elastic in the waist instead. I'm going to do a waistband. So all I need to do is fold my fabric again. Make sure it's even. Because I'm trying to move as quickly as I could. Fold my fabric again. Because I think I'm going to find a way to patch these pieces of scraps and make me a really nice hat tie and I'm gonna do maybe double this for waistband and we're gonna get press on and make this waistband nice and nice and neat so this is like 45 inches it's gonna be more than enough for my waist and I'll be back to set everything up Okay, I'm back. So what I want you to do, I want you to measure out how long you want your zipper. My zipper shouldn't be too long, so here should be good. But I advise you to measure if you're not like me, but I'm doing, try to do everything mostly freehand. So for people who can't measure properly, you're still able to make a skirt, okay? Or you're still able to sew something if you don't know how to measure properly. So I'm going to take this as the length of where I want my zipper to be. I've put both um, pieces of the skirt onto each other. At this point, there's no back or front until you make, you, you, you make up your zipper itself. So I'm going to stitch from here. And I'm going to go. So I'm going to do this, finish this stitching here. I'm going to put the other stitching on, on the other side, seal this up, and I'm going to be back to show you how to put in your zipper. Back. So I have some press on here to put onto my waistband. So this fabric is what's going to stiffen your waistband, so it's not going to collapse. And if you see, there's a kind of glue one side of it and this is the side you want to face on your waistband if you want your skirt to be really puffed out you could buy a, uh, the same amount of yards as the skirt and you use this as a liner it comes in black it comes in gray also and maybe you could order it online different colors so what you do you make sure you have your iron on steam and you simply press this on and instantly 
your fabric gets body okay so for those of you who are wondering how sometimes you see clothes looking really really puffed out and you, you don't know why this is the trick of it it's gonna keep it really really stiff and all there so I'm gonna finish this and then get to my machine um, what, I, what I want you to do after you finish ironing this I want you to make a break in the fabric here and stitch and iron this down again so this is naturally going to be the hemming for you to add on your waistband so when you fold it over in half and you're going to stitch it's going to be easy for you to just slip your waistband sandwich your skirt in between the waistband and it's easy days stitching for you so that's just a little trick to show you so i'm going back to the machine and show you how i add my zip and then put in my waistband so i have my zipper here and i'm about to put it in it's really really easy this is my way of putting in a zipper I don't want to confuse anybody else's way but give yourself like a quarter inch of hair and put your zipper down so you know the zippy part is facing your fabric okay you're gonna put it on your machine right where right where the, 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 the stitching had started when we started stitching and you're gonna run put your presser foot right on to where the zipper is the, the opening is gonna be and you're gonna take your time but if your presser foot is on where the op where the teats are your stitch is gonna run along the line here is gonna be neat. This is one side. You open your zip up. See like that. Okay. This is your first side. See how neat that is. See? See how neat? Good. And to put on the other side, you can do pins for this. You simply find where the fold is. And you could do pins on this. Now I'm not going to use pins, I'm going to just do it my way. Forgive me for all the professionals out there, but this is just how I clean my zipper. You do the same thing. You find the top of where the teeth in is and you rest your, your right side of your presser foot on it. And you're going to stitch the body Once you're able to hold, hold that, keep that stitch going. It's going to be fine. The machine is actually going to guide that stitch. And you do the same thing. And that's it. Your zipper is in. If your zipper is the exact length. But mine is not. So I'm going to cut this off and I'm gonna so that it doesn't open up okay so it's not gonna open up on you and your zip is in so all you professionals out there watching this tutorial I know you may be cringing but So, okay, so this is it here. 
just have to rerun a stitch here. That's just a patch it in. But basically my slipper is in and it's time to put in our waistband. Now if you notice that your waist might be too big, you could scale down. Because I need this to be exact 40. So if you notice your waist is too big, you could scale down from the sides, from the side of your skirt. Or you could run a hem and stitch. You could run a hem and stitch on the largest, on the slack stitch, and then pull, and you'll get slight gathers. That will look cute too. So I could decide whichever one I want. I'm gonna now use my measurement to make sure that this is 40. It doesn't look like 40 to me. Okay, so it's quite at. It's really big. So what I'm going to do, because it's not at 40, 40 will be like, see, almost 4 inches more. What I'm going to do, I'm going to run a stitch and pull my thread. I'm sure you saw me do this lots of times already. So you're going to run this stitch and make a, and then you know, make gathers after. Take my time. So let me do this and I'll come back and we're going to pull this string and I'm finished doing it all the way around. You're going to pull this string until you get to the waist you want. So I'm going to pull it, finish it and I'm going to pull it to the waist that I want and then I'm going to add my waistband. So as you can see my waistband is already ironed. All my edges are in so it's just to take your waistband now. And we're gonna start making magic. So when I come back, we're gonna do all that. So I'm about to make my put in my waistband onto my skirt. As you see, I neatly put in some tiny little ruffles. This is just to pull in the waist. But the waistband, this is how your waistband should look. It could be neater, but nobody's gonna see in here. So what I want you to do is fold this part over and make a stitching. Make sure you pull a back stitch on it. This is going to be nice and neat. So this side is going to be the side that's going to not this side is going to hold your button and this side is going to have the button hole. So the side that's going to hold your button is going to be this side of your zipper. Okay, and this side with the flap is going to hold your button hole. So this side is going to be flat and the other side is going to have a little lip. So we're going to see so you learn a lot today. Okay. So you see how easy it is. So you sandwich your skirt in between your waistband and you start stitching. Okay, so you take your time. And you stitch right along till you reach the end here. Before you reach the end, stop like four inches away. So we could do almost the same thing on this side, but with a lip. Okay, so I'll be back. Okay, so what I'm doing now, I took the liberty to start doing the roll hem. Because we're finished, but let me do the roll hem and then I'll show you. We say just roll in this fabric in on itself. And you're making a straight stitch over it. And you're gonna do this for the entire button. As you can see, I started already, so now I'm finished. More or less. Um, I want to show you. Zipper in. 
okay so your button is gonna go here and your buttonhole is gonna go there I wouldn't show you the buttonhole you could find a tutorial to do the buttonhole because I'm still perfecting buttonholes it's really hard for me to do on the machine but I could do it by hand so basically this is it here if you want you could buy like hook and eyes and put um, stitch in your hook and eyes here if you want to you could put a piece of velcro and you could stitch velcro here velcro there and, and snap it over but basically this is your skirt you just put the iron back on it and it's a beautiful skirt I just have to put the iron back on it because it's still a little rumpled from stitching and let's go straight into how to do shirt now your shirt should already line up what I didn't do in the video before is cut out the neck the holes for the neck and I did that the front and the back you just simply trace along the neckline of your shirt and you'll get perfect so you just you're not gonna the sleeves is already added in so all you're gonna do stitch along here stitch along there stitch along all the seams and do the same roll hem I showed you with the skirt with your shirt and you're basically finished so I, I know the tutorial was a bit long but I had to take my time and when I come back I'm gonna be all dressed up for you and I'm gonna put up the head tie in and everything is gonna be just fabulous okay so this is how my top and my skirt came out I paired it with flats and I have my head tie so right after I'm finished with this photo shoot I'm gonna show you how to make this head tie is really really easy and I want you to stay happy, stay healthy and so up. Uh